What's up YouTube and Facebook and welcome back to Not Quite Mint. Uh, today we're doing a CGC unboxing, our very first CGC unboxing. Uh, we're a little bit terrified, very nervous, um, but yeah, stick with us because we're going to unbox these amazing books. We have an Ultimate Fallout 4, we have a Hulk 180 and we also have a New Mutants 98 among lots of others. 25, 25 to get through. Um, so let's get into it indeed wow that's a big box you've got right there mate check out <laughs> my box check out my box <laughs> so there you go guys yes this is it obviously all ready to go Go big or go home is go uh, a motto home. on this channel, I think. Yeah. And, and it was uh, one of those ones where we were going to actually bring out a video uh, to talk about what we thought grades we were going to get. We were going to do a pre what's that in one, but it wasn't a very great video. And then uh, StreamYard, our, the thing that we use to obviously do all our broadcasts and stuff, it, uh, it deleted the video. So we couldn't do that, which is kind of good, really, because these books, have only they only took about five weeks yeah from when i sent them off uh, to cgc to when they came back graded all the rest of it it took about five weeks now uh we have not opened this box so we don't know what the grades are going to be <laughs> it's our first time of doing this some of the books were pressed and some of the books were brand new off the shelf and that i literally threw in at the last minute um to get graded and I didn't get them pressed. So I'm absolutely bricking it on those. But it's going to be really interesting for you guys. I'll explain to you which ones were pressed, which ones weren't, and we'll give an indication. Before I'm almost as nervous as it is when they're like, you've got to go to the gym today and do leg day. <laughs> leg day, excuse me. <laughs> so uh, I, if, if you want to talk about leg day, I'm going to like start. No, what I'm going to talk to about is the subscription. So everyone that comes back to this channel welcome back and it means a hell of a lot to us that you come back every week and on a tuesday and thursday and on our saturdays to listen to us wibble on about comic books we much appreciate it if you are new to the channel and you would like to join the nqm family please hit the subscribe button hit the dingley bell so you don't miss any of our content leave us a like and a comment that'd be absolutely amazing even if it's just to say hello please leave us a comment it's always good for us to know that people are out there watching um, follow us on all the social media uh, outlets, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we're all on the, pretty much all of them. And we are very active, so you can always have a chit chat with us. And we are quite social with guys. You know, you might look, look it, but we are. We weren't for the last, we haven't been for the last three months, have we? This is the first time, well, first time we've actually been in. Yeah, true. But we're not room. sociable with each other. No, no, we just, we just talk to everyone else. Talk to everybody else, yeah. But uh, yeah. If you want to get in touch with us, social media is always there. They have put so many layers of tape on this. I know, I can see that, mate. You look like you're struggling. It's tablet. unnecessary. Just um, hulk it out. It's, like, it's actually and there's, a, there's a guy in America who does uh, a lot of like CGC unboxings, and uh, they always they always criticise him for using scissors. So in the last one of his last ones, they uh, for a joke, some people in in his mailings had sent him like a little craft knife because it was like he's always hacking away. It probably makes it difficult. Anyway. Here we go, guys. He's opening up. Now, we want to do his blinds, so um, I'm gonna. I'll have to try and figure out which way. What I'll do. You might have to just pull one out. We'll just have to pull, pull one, one out, out and then see which side just is great. Don't pull out one of the big ones. Just yet. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Oh my god! Look at that. Can, can, can you turn it I side? think I might be able to. So. So. You won't see any of the grades, but there you go, guys. That's what then. That's crazy, mate. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like, it's it's like Christmas. Christmas. It yeah, is exactly. like freaking Christmas. You can probably see from our expressions, right? And I have a little. Da, 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 da. Try on, wait, wait. You've got some slabs here. Surely it'll tell you. Oh, You'll good. know which way. So you want to put them out with. So that's so, the way. Yeah. So like that. Yeah. So so, so as if I'm. Yeah. So that way around. So that's yeah. It. So if I go like that. Well, we'd, let's hope. Let's do one. Final. Yeah, that's right. I think that's right. Yeah, Providing so they haven't changed anything around. Yeah, uh, they've put the labels in Where the do place. we want to start? Do we want to start at the front or at the back? Should we just go random? Should we, should we just do it random? Do it random, mate. Yeah, go yeah. for it. Yeah. Oh, God. 
do you want to go first? Okay, I'll go. Because this is going to be cool. Because like this might. I be don't know first. what this is. Uh, just okay. So, so I've got I've got the grey covered. I think. Oh, so, oh, oh death, death, death metal. metal issue one. Death metal issue one. What did you think it was going to be? So this was like off the um off, kind of off the shelf. I want you to be able to see my face. Completely off the shelf. So uh, it's a foil cover. <laughs> It's, oh, I don't know. I've got sweaty palms. You've got sweaty palms? <laughs> I've got sweaty, got sweaty palms and I'm holding on to it. <laughs> so if it's, I'll be all right if it's 9.6 because it's a foil yeah. cover. I couldn't, obviously, you don't press four covers. So a 9.6 or a bug, um, it was a bit of an experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Boom. 9.8. Oh, 9.8. Happy days, mate. Oh, sweet. So that's good. Very, very good. So, like, yeah, so there you go, guys. So, that's the first reveal on the channel. There you go, guys. That's lovely, mate. That's yeah. awesome. It's cool. Oh, so I'm chuffed, man. Yeah, I bet you are. Well, chuffed. So, there you go. That's wicked. But, yeah. Yeah, wicked. Anyway, so we're going to just. Slab we'll, City, we'll, baby. We will stack these up to one side, but there you go. Nine eight. So, so chop up down here. Uh, here you go. Might, might be able to. Right. Do you want to yeah, leave my t-shirt away. Might be able to do that. Cool. Oh god, here we go. Oh, man. So this side's the. Uh, this yeah. Side. Yeah. That's it. I think so. Oh. Oh, it's one of mine. <laughs> Thor issue one. The Jane Foster. The first appearance of Jane Foster. Now, I didn't think this was in the best of condition before I sent it, to be perfectly honest. So I'd be happy if it was a nine. I'd be really disappointed if it was anything lower than a nine. Um, so, yeah, go on. Go what, what did you think? What did you think set it back? It got a it got a dink in the corner at the bottom. Okay. Cool. And well, I think it got a fold. But it had got a clean and pressed, but he couldn't get it out. Okay, cool. Cleaned and pressed. Yeah. Oh yes! Oh, that's all right, I'll man. take that. Nine point six. Yes. So, Happy see. days. That's all right, mate. That's looking. That's oh, okay. I'm well chuffed with that. Bear in mind that the, yeah, this... see, that was the dink I was thinking it would be. Yeah, yeah. The problem. I thought it would come lower than that. Nice. Yeah. Jane Foster becomes a new Thor. First yeah. appearance. And, and uh, how long have you had that book? How long have I had this yeah, book yeah. since it came out? So there you go. Like this is the thing. It's like you know, Death Metal was a brand new book. I bought what three, four, well, a month ago off the shelf. That's Say something that it. you've had for your uh, what's 2012, it? 2014. Uh, December 2014. 20, would be, 2014. Yeah. I've had this. Yeah, yeah. And you've got yeah. What is it? Is it got your uh, yeah? GM Foster. Jane Foster becomes, becomes, becomes the new Thor. Thor. New Thor. New Thor. New Thor. Oh, awesome, mate. Oh, mate, I'm really chuffed with that. <laughs> it's nice because it's one of those ones from your like personal collection, yeah. isn't it, as well? So That's one I'm definitely not going to get rid of. I actually, uh, controversial, I don't know if anyone else likes it, but that was one of my favourite Thor runs for yeah. a very long time, and I think it's because he, she was different and it was a female Thor. Not that I'm, That's you cool. know, there's one, slagging off well, male Thor. There's one, there's one, there's a book in here that's like, Really, I spoke about it, didn't yeah. I? The other on Tuesday, and we're going to pick it oh, random. It's going to be weird if you get it. Going in. Get it but... What we got? Oh, fuck off. Oh, so this is, excuse my language, Savage She Hulk. The first appearance of Jane, no, not Jane, not Jane. Um, Jennifer, Jennifer as the She Hulk. Yes. Now, this I've had for a million years. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this recently from a guy on Facebook. Did a bit of a trade. So I did a bit of a trade. So, yeah, I'm hoping it's higher than an eight. But I really, really, really hoped it was going to be higher than a nine. Like, I was okay. hoping for, like, a, a 9.4, 9.6, because it was in immaculate condition. Yeah, it's clean. And then went off to clean and press. So, yeah. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Oh, right. so, but well, it's not as bad. It yeah. could have been worse. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I wonder what, what do you think? 
So I got a nine. Got a nine. So happy with that. Not as happy as I could have been. But I wonder what set it back. Let's have a look. Because it's a white cover, isn't it? As yeah. Well. It's got off-white. Oh, no. Got white pages. Yeah, we'll have to look up the notes on it. I can see, can you see that line along oh, the spine yeah, yeah, there? Yeah. Maybe that's little. It's little signs of wear for, on stuff that's. Um, but considering the age of it, oh, the age. When did it, it come yeah. out originally? Eighty. Eighty. So it's old as me. February nineteen eighty. This came out. So it's an yeah. old comic. No offense, Rich. But look how, how it, it does present really nice in there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, you know, if anyone's interested in buying it, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, give Tom a shout through uh, through the old Instagram. You might you might be able to have have a, have a bit of history from an NQM. Yeah, C CGC thing. Yeah, but there you go. Yeah, I like that though. I'm I'm chuffed with that. Yeah, I'm chuffed. It, it I'm looks chuffed nice. that it's higher than an eight because if it had been lower than an eight, I'd have been annoyed. It's one of those ones. If if you were buying it as a nine point oh and looking how good the book was, you'd be really happy with it. Wouldn't yeah, you? definitely. Because and it's I think a nice looking book. The problem with nine point eight is they're so unachievable on something like that. They're inconsistent as well. They're, they are inconsistent. Right. All of the all of the uh, unboxings I watch, they're they're so inconsistent with yeah. you know, like so I've seen people send out batches of the same book and they'll get, you know, two will get a nine eight and then three of them will get a nine six and and people from a visibility look they, they just can't tell so it's got to be down to like a grader or yeah. something like that so i mean we've we've had this discussion with james who's the guy who does our clean and pressing for us yeah. at the comic clinic amazing yeah. totally amazing he's incredible at what he does yeah but we had the discussion with him and he said at the end of the day you could send your cgc book off and the grader of the day could just be feeling unwell and not really want to be there and he just is misses something. With something and just misses something yeah misses something or you know like yeah, just doesn't do a good job. Go on, mate. Right oh, Stressing, I'm sweating now. So cover up the grade. Don't be one of mine. Oh, ah, right. So, oh, oh, yes. First cover appearance of Virus. Yes. So, what did you think it was going to be? Oh, these are really difficult because I there's a, there's a lot of manufacturing errors with um, with Venoms and this one. Um, I've got four of these, um, and uh, they've all got well. A lot of them, these like got the dink they've, the corner, got, like, they? they've got up in the top corners, um, up up on the up on the spine. The spines are quite good. They've got like some of them have got some quite bad bent, uh, binding tears. It's because it's an oversized issue. Is that right? Because it's oversized yeah. now. I'm hoping that they're going to be lenient, maybe with some of these venoms, because I think I've got. I think there's about three venoms in this box in here. yeah so <laughs> as long as one of them gets uh, a decent something uh, I'll, I'll be all right but yeah first cover appearance of uh, virus there he's a retailer exclusive obviously of greg horn this is cover a i do believe um a non-virgin non-virgin yeah the trade dress trade dress so let's 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 do this Nine six. I, see again with these new ones. As long as I don't get anything lower than a nine six, I think anything new. It's, you want a nine eight, yeah, nine six, nine yeah, eight. yeah. But um, oh, nice. Yeah. So this one's uh, obviously legacy number. It says on there because it, it's quite interesting because they don't often do like cover appearances on on stuff. But you can see up at the top, uh, it's got Venom, Venom one ninety legacy, and then Iron Man. Uh, 282 cover homage and then uh, Donny Kate's story, Mark Bagley, and uh, who's that? Andy Owens art and Greg Horn cover. Very cool. So that's cool, that is. Yeah. Do you know what I like about the CGCs? Um, as apart from the fact that you can never damage a comic, I mean, obviously, I like I like reading comics to be fair, so CGCs aren't like my go to. However, what I do like about yeah. them is the fact that you can display the front and the back because in your normal comic books, you can't show people the back if it's got like a wraparound cover, you can't show people the back yeah. of the cover because it's covered with a board and you don't really want to take it out because you don't want to get damaged, which then just makes you think, why don't you just get it CGC'd? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's interesting. I, I mean, I'm looking at it, and, and the again, actual slab looks a bit like it's a bit knackered. To be fair, yeah, the, there's a couple yeah. of scratches on the slab. Yeah, yeah, which is nice. But uh, yeah, the the thing I don't know if we, it will show up very clearly, but it's the bottom corners 
basically on these and anybody who's bought one of these venom 25s like that that that's it but got a nine six but yeah not bad not bad i'm, I'm, I'm happy with that as i say like you can't can't knock you it. can't knock a knock a nine six right really. right i'm going in i know a little rummage i'm not really rummaging i don't really know what i'm looking for <laughs> just just got to put it out there <laughs> Oh, it's one of your babies. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this is, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I want to hold on uh, to this one. So, this is uh, a book. I bought this book for, I think it was about £10 on auction. Sent it off to the comic clinic, uh, Mr. James Gower. He, I, 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 the pictures of this beforehand, the front cover was dirty as. Um, and it had like uh, light creases to the uh, to the cover as well, and it was it was just it was a well thumbed view. Look how t-shirt. lovely and white but it is. I tell you what, it came back really really nice. Um, there's still evident, yeah, you know. But I think when it, when I bought it, I wouldn't have put it much above a six or a seven, yeah, uh, personally. So for really? me to get anything up to eight or above, I'd be well happy. There you go. Let's Boom. see. And and obviously this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man three zero one. My personal grail is Amazing Spider-Man three. Do you know what? So is mine at the moment. And do you know yeah. why? It came out the year I was born. Oh God! No way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, so, yeah. So, this so that was... came out in the year I was born as well. Well, yeah. White pages, guys. And yeah, I mean, like literally, it's it's probably just a bit of spine wear, really. Considering its age, and I'm quite knackered, <laughs> it's done well. Yeah, I put I would put myself as an eight point five. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of color break in there, and then there's a couple there's like a bit of a, an indentation at the top. I'm not liking these color. sleeves. What they've done with the there's yeah, some like, cracks and like yeah, they've like it's hey they're obviously they're obviously they obviously like um, seal them, don't they? Yeah, quite rough. But yeah, so it's I mean I'm there looking at it. Obviously you can sort of see the spine there, but. You know, white pages, which is amazing. Amazing uh, and then, what? I don't know. <laughs> amazing Spider-Man. And then you can sort of see on the reflection there, actually, that 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 on the top. Oh, yeah, the dings at the top. And you can see the uh, the, the spine crease there, which are the colour breaks. So I think 8.5 eight, eight, is pretty, yeah. pretty banged on, to be fair. So I'm not I'm all right with that. But that's not going anywhere anyway, that one. So that's, that's a great one. That's, 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 that, that's what I want to... That's when a I can personal get, job. An ASM three hundred. You know, I went to see a friend of mine the other week. Um, we played Dungeons and Dragons, and he showed me his Batman collection. And his mm. Batman collection consists of the day from from the date he was born to now. That's his mm. entire Batman collection. And it suddenly made me think. Do you know what? I'd like to collect my year yeah. of birth in from Spider Man comic only in Spider Man comics. Yeah. Just that one year, and then slab the lot. Just That'd have that so full cool. run of my entire yeah. year yeah, of yeah. life. First year. In Spider-Man comics, how the only problem with that is, is three hundred is in there. Mm. <laughs> That's not an easy. And if you want a nine eight as well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I'd be quite happy with the eight point five. So like you've got, yeah, yeah. Even I'm, even on a right. on a and a three hundred again, low grade is better than no grade. Exactly, it's a, a, a thing that's turned especially if you want to look after them. Yeah. I mean, exactly, exactly that. And this is kind of. We will be doing this video, and hopefully Rich will be okay with it. I'm going to be sending off two of my most special comics that I own, which are signed by um, Frank Welker and Peter Cullen, and we'll do a video on it, to be C- C- CBS, because C-B-C-S. yeah. they do the uh, authentication of the signature. And I only, I'm only i doing that. I'm not bothered about what grade it comes back at, or, and I'm never going to sell it. It's just to keep them protected. And that is what this is all about at yeah, the end yeah, of the day, yeah. is investing it's in the, the comics and keeping them Is that protected. the one that we, you got done at uh, Liverpool Comic Con? Yeah, man, yeah, Just yeah. before lockdown, me yeah. and Tom went to Liverpool So it means a hell of a lot more to me than yeah. it did. Oh, so anyway. Yeah, it was... It was, it was I, I, I did take the piss out of you a little uh-huh. bit, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> but it was like, because like, obviously Frank Welker and Peter Cullen, they're both like, they're knocking on in years and tom just went to like absolute mush like yeah, literally just a bit. it was i was like i walked away actually when we'd seen peter calling on it and i was like you know what mate that's like you know big soft ear. yeah i was a bit like i was touched by by it was nice it was nice yeah I'm we've got nice. more fucking let's do it here, mate. shall we go in or do you want to go in who's turn? oh it's me it's you me. yeah it's me for you yeah me for me stroking them go near go near hold on 
Going in! Don't be one of mine. Don't be one of mine. Oh, this is this. Oh, oh yeah. Teenage Mutant no. Ninja Turtles. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Turtles 9. Um, Six-page preview of Richard Corbin's Ripping Time wraparound cover. So, yeah, that's why there's art on the back. It's wraparound cover. Uh, I believe it's a first print, Mirage Studios, 1986. Wow. So nice. It's proper old, this one is. Not as old as me, but proper old. Is it um, as old as me? So I bought these cheap uh, on an eBay, bought on eBay cheap. auctions, um, and uh, no real intention to keep any of them. Um so these are ones that I, I would ideally like to, to, to sell on at some point. Um, so if you're interested, hook us up. Yeah, so again, like, you know, NQM, ask the question. Um, not sure really what they're worth. I know in a 9.8 they're, they're, they're worth a lot of money, but, um, yeah, they're, they're, I'll show you in a minute the uh, what they look like. I don't know, man. I, I was like seven and a half, eight. They have been cleaned and pressed. Mm. Uh, let's see, let's see. So I've got a couple of these in here. Not the same issue, different issues. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. It's not bad because these, the production you, quality you, you on these. Said what? You, want, you were happy with it? I, I think I, I was, I, I genuinely felt they were about eight um, or something like that. Eight, eight and a half. Very cool. I mean, it's a black cover, so they, they do show the wear a lot. I'll show some of the, that's the back cover. See if we can get some reflection going again. So you can sort of see that's my that's me from handling this thing here, but not 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 on the cover. Like that, you can see a bit of dent, a bit of a bit of dimpling on the cover there. Um, the spine spine's pretty good, but the the top corners the corners are slightly uh, they're not sharp. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, it looks lovely. I mean, it's, as I say, 9.2. Love, love. love, love. Yeah, but again, we're talking original Turtles book there. 9.2. Sort of. Wow. So cool, man. Yeah, it's two years old. It's two years older than me. Yeah. So, oh, I'm all right with that. 9.2. I know, right. but issue nine, mate, like, that's only like eight issues after yeah. issue one. No, no. Well, that, that's why that's why when I saw them in this this lot on on eBay, it was like they worked out. I think they're about seven pounds each, and I got about eight of them. I think. Wow, um, just awesome, man! And it was like Teenage Mutant Turtles are my jam. The Ninja Turtles issue one Mirage. If I could ever get one, I don't care what oh, grade yeah, it's yeah, in. Yeah. I just want a first edition. First edition. Yeah. But, you know, it's like a zero point one, and it's got like tears on the cover everywhere. I just want one. Yeah, we'll get something. Well, well, as I say, it'll be something to work up towards. I, I, yeah. I want an ASM one. Let's get you. Well, you want a, a great giant size X Men as well, don't you? So. I do, but I'm because I've got this facsimile. The facsimile it's took the it's, edge yeah, off. and I think I would prefer the Spider Man issue three hundred purely oh, okay. because Venom is one of my favorite characters of all time. Got you. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh Eternals. This is an Eternals. I've forgotten about this one. Hold on. There you go. You can see it better. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see it better. Uh, these, again, this, I, I think I bought it off e an eBay auction. Cheeky bid. Five pound bid. It is a pence variant. Uh, is it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 12p. Oh, yeah. Um, I, as I say, it was a fiver, and Eternals is relatively collectible as well. I've got, I've, I have got an Eternals number one to send off, but I, oh, sort nice. of awesome. sent, I did send this as a bit of a trial because it's a modern book, and this one's a lot cheaper than obviously Eternals one. Um, oh, I don't like how they've slabbed that. Yeah. Um, so this one's a difficult one. I, I personally would say. I don't think I think it was well worn. I don't think it'll be white pages. Oh god, I don't know. It's so difficult. I'm, I'd say around about seven, eight, seven and a half, eight. Ready? Go. On. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. It's fine. But I'll tell you what, though, it, they have not slabbed this very nicely. Yeah. Because it, it's moved. How oh, is it? You see? Yeah, it's it's moved at the back. Yeah. Yeah, they put it in, 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 inside a well. Yeah, it doesn't actually fit the well very well. No. There's a gap in the well, which is weird. 
It's almost as if they put it in a silver uh, age one. Yeah. It's slightly wider. But, yeah. Nice, though. Well, yeah, all right. I mean, it's what, what were the pages? So, yeah, off-white uh, off -white. to white. So that's going to affect uh, the grade a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of wear at the, on the top of the cover. Again, it's a dark cover. So 8.5 8 is probably quite good. Uh, quite a nice back cover. Let's see if we get any reflection for you. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah. But, yeah, so I'm all right with that. Again, I, I sent that off as a bit of a, a test. But some of these ones, are a bit of a, they're a bit of a test to test the they are, Yeah, I mean, them. to be fair, it's just a nice thing to do. You know, to figure out what it is. So I'll probably be flipping that one, but I might hold on to it till the Eternal Storm comes out, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Sorry. Go on, oh, jump in. Again. Getting nervous now. <laughs> oh. oh, this is funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'll just in the back. I know what it is. Right, one second. One second. So there we go. So this is a very cool comic. Yeah, mate. Scotty Young, mate, all over it. Yeah. Do you know what? This one was immaculate in my opinion, before I sent it off. And it then got um, cleaned and pressed. So if it is lower than 9.2, oh, I'm going to be really pissed. How long have you had this one in your collection, mate? Since it came out, mate. And you've read it? Yeah. No, never read never this read one. It. No, because I had all the tie-ins. Because this story was in the back of all the what-ifs that came out at the same time. Oh, okay. So I actually had all of those, so I only had to read them. Okay. Um, so I never read this one. So it's never been read. It got cleaned and pressed, and in my opinion, it was immaculate. So if it's lower than a nine, I'm walking out this room. <laughs> okay, here we go. Drum roll. Do, 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 do. Nine six. Yes. Oh, do you know what? I would have been gutted if it had been lower than that. To be fair, if it had been lower, it, honestly, in all fairness, I know I said nine. Yeah. But if it had been lower than a nine point six, I would have been really annoyed. Yeah. I think you can see, I can probably see why as well. You see these? There. Oh, yeah, got little one, um, two. spine ticks. Yeah, little, very, very tiny ones. Very, very tiny ones. So that's the only thing. Oh, what a shame. But know, this one's I'm keeping, though. Yeah. I was going to sell it, but I forgot how much I love it. Yeah, just so on this neck. This one. There's a couple. Of, there's, a, there's just ever so tiny, ever so tiny ones. But, yeah, that is literally how close it is. Everything else, like you say, the colour, uh, everything is, is but, immaculate. In all fairness, this book um, has been in my collection since the day it came out. I've never read it, but it's been moved from three different houses. It's been shoved in nigh on ten different boxes. Yeah. I tend to reorganise my collection monthly. Mm. So it's been in and out of boxes and shoved in and shoved out and moved and slided. Yeah. And so I'm I'm happy that it's a 9.6. That's really made my day, actually. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, cool. Awesome. If it was a 9.8, I'd have been even better. Oh, man, a 9.8. I'd have probably run out of this room, took my top off, and went, woo <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'd be chasing him, showing everybody. Yeah. Right then, uh, go on then, mate. Am I in? Yeah, yeah, it's your, your, your turn. I'll do this one at the, at the far end because it's easier to pick up. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, bollocks, I know I'm mine. <laughs> <laughs> they make me so nervous. Annihilation Conquest, where Wraith, the first appearance of Wraith, who is actually about to become quite a significant thing in the old yeah. um, MU. So yeah. I don't know what this one's going to come in as, to be fair. Yeah. It, it was in the same box as that one, but I had so. read it. So, again, I think uh, anything lower than a nine, I'll be upset. So yeah, I'd, I'd we're, like we're, we're in the I'm same gonna, bracket. I'm the same. What if, if it's a nine, happy. Anything below, mm. I'm gonna smash it on the desk. <laughs> uh, poor desk. Ready? Oh, oh awesome! Uh, Does, honestly, uh, didn't expect that because yeah. I've read this one. Yeah, and it wasn't in the best of condition. When I sent it off for clean and press. Really? Like it got folds and bends and things. I'm actually really happy with that. Awesome. Very happy with that, actually. 9.6. Happy days. Mm. Oh, I actually really like that. No, it does. That is such a clean issue. Just on, on looking at it as well. 
Yeah, yeah, you can say it's similar to that. There's like ever like just really, really tiny, really, really tiny little things. But James at, Con at the comic clinic must have done an incredible job because yeah. I know for a fact that it had a fold across the, the where it says annihilation. Yeah, here there's a tiny little fold. Yeah, where it'd been shoved against another book. Oh, right, okay. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, James. Get your books cleaned and pressed. Yeah, your old ones. Mm. Yeah. Well, if, well awesome. unless it's death metal and brand new. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, it's looking good for uh, Ultimate Fallout. <laughs> oh, God. If Ultimate Fallout is going to be like one that's going to piss eight. me off, mate, yeah. I can see it happening. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, it's one of yours, mate. Mine. Yeah, Fantastic Four 73. Again, another one for my personal uh, collection. Um, trying to get a run of, obviously, the uh, front, the first 100 uh, Fantastic Fours, if I can. It's just classic cover, Jack Kirby artwork. I think that's I like what that. it says on the description. You've got? Do you, you've shown this one on the channel when you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, I like this one. This is one that I want to, like, you know get slabbed or something because I just love the artwork. And it was one of the be it's one of the better connect because, yeah. again, I'm not bothered about the rule. Uh, old uh, Fantastic Fours, and this was one of the best uh, uh, sort of collection ones that I got. I think it was about twenty quid uh, because of the the condition. But again, it's still only I don't know. I think I bought it. It was about six ish, and had it cleaned and pressed. And uh, it's very old. It's very old. It's older than me. So let's go. Seven out. Nice. It's it's is that the lowest grade we've had so far? Mm. That... No, it's spinning around. Oh right. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, mate. Yeah, yes. yeah. So so seven out. Um but yeah, this is like I didn't it's one of those that I think it looks amazing, but when you look really close up at like say like the top corner, you can oh, see the yeah, wear there. See, yeah. Rounded. Yeah, and then the bottom corner is the same. It's been red, it's it, but it's just such nice artwork. Yeah. So, and it's uh, Joe Sinnott as well. He recently passed away. So um, Jack Kirby, Stanley Story. I think that was what did it. It was like a bit of a holy triumph. At least you've got Stanley. Yeah. Story. You got Jack Kirby art, and I think is it coloring by? Uh, no, Joe Sinnott did art, the, cover the cover art. So it's just like classic, classic, classic everything, and. Uh, as I say, one of the better conditioned Fantastic Fours that I've got. So, I mean, it's it's, it's cool as well because you've got um, the Fantastic Four plus Daredevil, Thor, and Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I like it. I, I wonder how much that grade knocked you down. Oh, uh, it's got like a yeah, little. Um, a lot of them have like stamp stamps on, on there. Yeah, you can't really see it. It's a bit too faint yeah. to show. Well, as I say, oh, we'll, yeah, check, we'll check the um, we'll check the. the watch them call because I've I've notes. got a Thor one three four. Which is in immaculate condition, has white pages. Yeah, it's old as shit, but it's got a um, a tram stamp. Yeah, from things that I have read, if it if it's um, not an address and not been written, if it's a, a price stamp like that, mo the general consensus is that it shouldn't affect the grade. Um, so, but yeah, but I mean that that one that's fine. It's a seven seven though. It's not going anywhere. I wanted it protected, and that's good. Good, good, good. Oh, can't see. Oh, oh fuck this one. Oh, four, six. God. No, five. Five. So oh, my this, God, I thought it was six. This four, is five. the ESAD Ribic cover. Uh, again, brand new, bought off the shelf. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up seeing the grade here. This, now, this book has absolutely exploded at, at the moment. Um, and I, I've got the standard cover in my collection. I bought this one purely to... As a, a not as a spec, I bought it because I like the cover. I like these side Ruby. But if this is, I, I don't know. Man. It's it's like it's like a four hundred pound book at the moment. I'm sure or something like that. So it's like a lot of it. It would uh, let if selling this would allow me to keep a lot of the other slabs. Okay, you ready? So do you have just a punt at it? Uh, it again, I, I'd, I'd lower than a nine six. I'd be upset. Really? It, it does look. It did look great when I sent it. Oh, yes, fucking yes. Oh my god, shit! Now you see, like this makes me like nervous. But 
yeah, I mean, I can see a minor tiny tick there, but apart from that. Awesome, mate. That's our first 9-8, is it? Is it the first 9-8? First 9-8. I want to say that's our first 9-8. I think it is, isn't it? 9-6. Oh, no. Oh, no, we got this metal first, first one. one with a distant memory. Uh, yeah. It's it's really interesting actually because like there's there's like uh, a little tiny little thing in the top corner, on the bottom corner. As I say, there's a little little spine, not a tick as such, but but it has it wasn't red or anything, you know. So yeah. Oh mate, that's awesome. But a nine Chef for you. Oh, shit. If anyone's interested in buying it off Rich, contact us through uh, not quite mint social media. Yeah, but there you go. So you can allow him to keep the rest of the stuff he wants to keep. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's one of those weeks where you think, oh, God, how high could this, like, could these books go? Could this be, uh, you know, like the... The, like, the null one. Like, the null one, yeah, because it is obviously, like, first appearance of a, of a villain. Oh, man, it's, it's meant... Oh, happy, happy with that. Makes up for some of the small, like, the, some of the lower grades yeah, in, yeah. In, 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 in some respects. <sighs> Oh, yeah. So this was another one it, I, I wanted to send off. Is that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? No. It's, no, this is the uh, Le Legion of Superheroes 6. So it's, uh, I think, uh, first Golden Lantern stuff. Very up, straight off the straight off the shelf. I've not seen this variant It's before. a cardstock variant. Um, very cool. And I was just curious to send, because I wanted to send off a, a range of books to test my own kind of grading um and this was pretty good condition uh obviously same as death metal came out the same week i think or the week before um just wanted to wanted to know really um this one again anything lower than a nine six because i'm not sure with cardstock very uh, cardstock covers how harsh they grade them but uh let's have a look nine six awesome it's all right would have liked nine eight probably but Again, this isn't one that I want to hold on to. So anybody want a nine six in this one? It doesn't actually say first grip golden gold lantern on there yet, oh. either, which is a bugger. But uh, it is a very early one to send off to get graded, and I appreciate that. So. Oh, I like the fact that it's got more combat advertised on the back of it. Oh, is it? Happy days. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, I need to watch that film. No, but but yeah, it's one of them. One of them. I think maybe it's the staple. The staple's a little bit funny, but apart from that, it's a lovely, you know, it's a nice one. And again, it might be one because I've got a lot, I've got quite a few of these that I picked up anyway. Uh, not the variants, but I've got, I think, about three of the, yeah, I've got the main on cover. One. one, one that I might just hold, hold on to the others rather than send, send, send them off, which, you know, save, saves me money till it's worth something. Yeah. So yeah, cool. Um, it's very. Uh, it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Just <laughs> oh, products. There you go. I managed to get it out without moving the sleeve. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, this is one of mine. We can probably black through this one quite quick. Uh, again, very much like the Eternals. Uh, there's, no, I think, there might be a minor key in it, based on the. Eternals and this, I'd probably this one was slightly worse, I think. So maybe an eight o. Ready? Yeah, seven o. Oh. So, yeah, so that is lower than I expected that one. But I, I think it's got a slight miswrap on it. It is a Pence variant. Was cleaned and pressed. I mean, the spine looks really good on it. No, no ticks that I can see. So yeah, that's a shame. That is. That's that's lower than I expected that one to be honest, but I'm, I'm not that bothered. Oh, it was the last uh, Kirby issue, this one. So yeah, like kind of minor key, but yeah, Jack Kirby story, Jack Kirby art, Jack Kirby cover. So yeah, the last one. But it's a Pence variant as well, so it's yeah, it, that that is really cheap. So if anybody's a Black Panther fan, as hit, I say, us hit us up on Instagram. That'd be insane. Uh, right, no. These were like the ones we are selling will go up on the Instagram uh, for people to see and contact us over. So, yeah, keep yeah. an eye out for that, guys. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Was it your turn? To... No, it's my turn. Oh, I, was it? No, it was your turn. I did that one. I did yeah. that phantom. So you're right. <laughs> oh, right. Here we go. So I did send one of these off. And again, this was as a comparison. Uh, again, because this was the first time I've sent stuff off. So I didn't want to send off loads of expensive books. Yeah, yeah. And then be really disappointed and then oh, gotcha. the rest of it. This was, you know, cover price off the shelf. Legion of Superhero 6. But this is the standard cover. First, obviously, what, doc, new Doctor Hay, first Golden Lantern. It's his first, first cover board. appearance, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. So, there you go. This, again, based on that, because I thought this cardstock was better than this, I'm going to say this is going to be a 9.6 nine, nine, yeah. as well. Oh, 9.8. Oh, nine, eight. oh that's, well, that kind of makes up for that being a 9.6 in a way. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So... Yeah, I mean, there's not much to show with that one because it is 9.8. So, 9.8, new book straight off the shelf. I like that. I've got me one of them. So, yeah. But, again, I've got this, I've got spare ones of these to send off that I can still send off. So, I probably will sell that Yeah, to get a bit of the money back so I can send another batch. So, again, if anybody wants a 9.8, Legion of Superheroes number six. Yeah, yeah. Give us a shout. God, where are these big boys? They're in here somewhere. Oh, these two would get... Oh, okay. I'll just fit one of the big boys up. Oh, okay. So here we go. This, is a, this isn't going to go anywhere soon. Um, I'm going to hold on to this for a little hold while. On. Sorry, I'm going to see the, the Okay, thing. cool. Incredible Hulk, if you look up just here. I've got, obviously, the facsimile there. Which is in amazing condition, as you'd expect. This one was not. This was bought from a lot of uh, comics that I bought uh, to to sell, basically, because of this book. Because I just wanted this book in my collection. I've sold all the other books from the lot, so this is literally has cost me nothing uh, at the moment. Um, so I wanted to get it graded. It is a, a it, the guy who bought it from said it was a good. So I know even with a clean and press, uh, it's got the Marvel value stamp missing on there as yeah. well. But it's not got the. I would have thought it would have come back with a complete. Oh, a fuck. Blue, it's got I a blue label. Thought. It's got a blue label. So I don't know why they're doing that now. But uh, uh, yeah, there'll Let's be some. It. There'll be some kind of debate over that. But yeah, it hasn't. It has. It is missing the Marvel value stamp. Um, but again, <laughs> I was. I was like. If it's more than a one, if I'm honest, because yeah. I just wanted it in my collection. So uh, this is a book that I'm going to be using in future videos when I do flip some of my other slabs. This is going to be something where I'll buy better quality raw ones with the Marvel value stamp, send them off and upgrade this. So do watch the channel upgrade. for that, guys. Yeah. So Ready? anything better than a one, I'll be happy. One, one, five. Two, I, I, literally, I know it's a low grade. Low grade, better than no grade, all of that. It's really nice, though, to be fair. Um, but. Yeah, it's slightly slightly faded. The cover is uh, you can see bad, uh, obviously down that corner a lot a lot of like color break increases. Um, oh, we could ha we could hold them like that and not see the grade. But yeah, oh, oh what? Like, it's like, oh no, yeah. Cause, no, because I yeah, <laughs> I'm tempted to drop it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so two point oh guys, what, what's, that's very cool. What was it? So off white to white pages. That's really good. First appearance of Wolverine in cameo on last page. Wendigo appearance, absolutely amazing. Quality. Yeah, I mean, the back cover is really, really quite dirty still, and I was warned uh, by uh, James about that. And I, as I say, I was just like, I think it cost me, because it's an older book, uh, it was, I think, about £40 to get graded. So See, £40 is still not that bad. But you, to me, that has cost me 40 got... quid sentimental value for, as it mm. were, and you, you, you're going to use it to, to trade up and get yeah. a better one. That's what I say, trade it up. I think as an experiment as well. Yeah, yeah. I think as, as it's probably worth about I don't know, probably two hundred to two hundred and fifty quid like that. I suppose something like that. So it's you know it's 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 just yeah. I, I've just always wanted one, so it'll go up on that shelf for a little while um, until I can find something to buy to grade to upgrade it with, or we'll sell all the ones you've got. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got bills to pay <laughs> I've got bills so, they're multiplying yeah. there you go. sorry I'll put I, 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 was, I might I, I should probably I might just put it, put, put it in place, you know? do you want to put it back in the sleeve or do you want to nah nah I don't need the sleeve the sleeves are for wind this is where it slips down already in in uh, 
Pride of place. Yeah. So nice. cool. It's not. I wanted to do that as a safe for ages. So that's good. My, is it my turn? Yes. This is really. I'm Where do you want me to really go? Nervous. Front, point. back. Front or back? Front or back? Oh, I'll take it up the front then. <laughs> I'm going. I'm doing the very, very front issue here, mate. Oh fuck! You've just had. We've just had my big game. Oh, is this ultimate fall? Oh. It is indeed. Oh. So I'm going to take it out. Okay. Okay. So I'm excited for this one, and I'm really also quite nervous because this should have been in immaculate condition. It was still in its poly bag. However, I got told by James that the poly bags actually cause more damage than they're worth. So if you've got one, guys, and it's in a poly bag, take it out of its poly bag because it causes a, a seam down the back and down the front. So I would be happy if I got a nine on this bad boy, but I want a 9.6. <laughs> a 9.6 I want. Yeah. If I got a nine, I'd be happy. If it's mm. lower than that and you're talking like okay. eight fives, I'm going to be upset. Okay. Because that's the trouble, even in the poly bags, there's no board and all that. No, so, no, the yeah. poly bags. And also, if you then put a board behind the poly bag, thinking that you're pressing it, in, press, presses yeah. it into it. Okay. Ready? Go on, then, yeah. Oh! Okay. Okay. That's yeah, okay. Could be a lot worse. So, I was happy with a 9. I would have liked a 9.8. It's halfway. Yeah. So, yeah, I... Yeah, I poly bag. I would have liked a 9.8. I know, what. look at that. that it's had a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's probably it, isn't it? Ah, oh, gutted, but also very happy because no, no, it's, it's, it's not. It's, an it, I'll tell you what, that's a lovely book. I mean, with everything that's going on with Miles, I'm not kidding you. That book. Also, this isn't one from. This isn't like. This is the same as the Venom one. This is one that will go in my personal collection and never yeah. move because Miles, like as we've discussed before, Miles Morales is our generation mm. Spider Man. Yeah. And it's the closest thing I'm ever going to get to a first appearance of a Spider-Man. So I'm, yeah, really happy with that. First appearance of the new Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. Poly bag removed. Nice. Nice. Ha I really, yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed at that. Yeah. I'm a bit annoyed that it's not 9.8 because 9.8 is going for stupid but, money, but mate, I'm not going to sell it. So what? it's an upgrader. But, you know, that might be something that you could potentially upgrade in the, fu in the future yeah. as well. And it's, you know, but you've got the book. It's locked in. Whatever happens with Miles Morales, that's only going to get get better, isn't it? Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm just there. I, I, I'm the same with that. If I could get one in a eight or an eight five, yeah, just in the PC. Well, I think we need price, to get hunting mate, because I feel like they're out there because really they're not they're not um, limited print run. No, no, no. So, right. Me, yeah. 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 Front or back or middle? Middle. I'm, I'm going to go middle. Middle. Middle, 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 middle. Oh, can just find. get it out of the thing without being the what's it? Oh, okay. So oh. this is another Venom Twenty Five. This is the one in Twenty Five James Stocko uh, variant cover. Oh, yes, I can get that. Out. So um, again, anything less than a nine oh, no. six, I'm going to be upset. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> uh, anything less than a nine six, I'm going to be upset based on the fact that we've had the horn. Yeah. I like that cover. Um, and, yeah, it's it's a cool cover, to be fair, that is. But, uh, yeah, so let's hope for a 9-6. Yeah. Oh. Fucking yeah. Yes, That's, that's yes, such it. a relief after that Greg Horn one coming out and being a 9-6 because... I just realised all the symbiotes are on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're all over there. So you've got Eddie, um, Venom, Toxin, yeah. Anti-Venom, I think... Actually, that's Carnage. That's Toxin. Yeah. And then you've got the new one, whose name I can't remember, who doesn't need a host. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Well, so, do you want your body bag, mate? Yeah, I'll pop that back in. I'm not going to display that one. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I might, I might. Yeah, I think I'll definitely sell the Greg Horn one next. I've got a couple of yeah. that I could still get a nine eight with, but that might stay in the PC for a little longer, unless somebody gives me a good offer. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, <laughs> I have a price. I have a price. <laughs> All the books have a price. Front, back, or middle, mate. <sighs> front, back, or middle. Front. Let's go front. It wasn't good to me last time. So. <laughs> right. No idea from... Oh, okay. So, oh, oh, you might... I've seen something with this that you might not like. 
Oh, uh, okay. So it's a qualified grade. Ah, uh, what does that mean? Um, so back, I'll have to look at. We'll have to look up the grade notes on this one. So this is One Punch Man. This is a free comic, free comic book day one. First appearance of the Punch Man in a comic book. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So we'll have to probably have a look at this. So that means that something has been altered. Yeah, or, or added to the book potentially. I think uh, so. Okay. It's like there's there's something being. Okay, so anyway, what do you reckon? Well, what it's brand, brand with... spanking new mates, so if it's not 9.8, I'm going to be annoyed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, so it's a qualified 9.6. But why is it qualified? I'd be interesting to know that. Uh, stamp on back cover. So that. Uh, fuck. Yeah, so there you go, guys. So there's a stamp. This is a really good learning experience actually for anybody there you go there's a stamp so the comic so that's where a stamp is detrimental so because that is a price which yeah. is allowed that's an, like almost like an advertisement advert yeah they must they obviously downgrade on that ah, well, okay you know well it won't well it, it, it would still have been a nine nine six without that yeah 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 but that's why they put the qualified thing on there so that's a again for you guys, probably really interesting. Well, fuck you, traveling mills. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. And, uh, genuinely, you you wouldn't think that, would no, you? Not at all. I didn't even notice it. So, green label, but I'm, I'm guessing. Offers? You yeah, if anyone offers. wants to buy it, <laughs> let us know. Yeah. Oh, that's, but yeah. Um, I, only, I haven't, I haven't gone. Yeah, I haven't but, gone from the back yet. From the back yet? Here we go. From the back. We we're about. Probably eight books away, guys. Now, so so if you stuck with us this long, fair play. Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, because we haven't got to the to, to the my big boy yet. Really. I reckon we could do one of these live when we do another one. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. I'd forgotten I'd sent this. So this is a, a Todd McFarlane cover, Amazing Spider-Man three one seven. I think it's like obviously is it the early nineties. Uh, 89, apparently. I can there's, see that bit. There's some kind of relevance to Venom. I think it's like an Eddie Brock appearance or something like that. There's some kind of a Venom-y type Venom thing. and Thing appearance. Yeah, so there's a Venom appearance in there. I just like the cover. The cover is cool. Todd McFarlane thing. To be fair, I probably will flip this. Um, but it was, again, a very ch cheap pickup for me, Raw. Has been cleaned and pressed. Really? I don't know because of the age, and I've been a bit like not surprised, but like they've been a bit all over the place on the other ones. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably put a little nine nine zero -oh because it was in really good condition. Cool. Okay, I'm very happy with the nine six. Very happy with the nine six. There you go. <laughs> yeah, very happy with the nine six. I think that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I like that. It was really clean. Like I say, it doesn't it doesn't have any sentimental value, so I'll pro I will sell that. Yeah, Venom and Thing appearance, top of phone cover and art. So, yeah. Ah, white pages. Happy days. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Slot him in, mate. Where are we going, mate? Now, mate, we're going oh. front, back. Well, I'm Maybe. almost tempted because you've only got one, two, three, four, five, six to go to put yeah. on there. Yeah. What face upside down. down? Yeah. If you go, yeah. If you go face down, and then we just put them out that way. Yeah. Up. Let's just go, and off, then we can put the these top. back in, can't we? Good point. Good and they're uh, nicely. See, he's he's organised it. So he's already already. Oh, can you just grab those bits of cardboard? Yeah. There's low. There's dividing bits of cardboard inside the box. Amazing packing. Yeah. Literally. Mind blowing packing. I love it. All and the this way is this is a, we are going to have, we're going to have to send off another CGC lot because I need one of these to put my CGCs in. <laughs> yeah, no, well, that's what you, this this box is staying because like, right. I'm not spending it all. Next one up. Oh, oh, oh this is really so, important to you, mate. So this is my sentimental one. Now I've got an old label up there that you can just see by me through there. Now that one was one that I won in a prize from Mystery Comic Book Box UK. This is oh, your personal This one. is my personal one that I've had from when it was it 2000 when it came out. Yes. So uh, so I was at uni and this was me getting back into comic book collecting. So this was my second phase of comic book collecting effectively. Yeah. It is beautiful, mate. But I love I love um 
I just it's just such an iconic cover book. It means yeah. a lot to me. This one does. Yeah. So I want that better than a nine four. Otherwise, yeah. I'll, I'll still keep that. But if that's better than a nine four, I'm going to be over the moon because I've read it. It's bit, not, I don't well, even think I bagged it. You, you know? can see it's been up. It's got a few little dinks on it. Yeah, yeah. You can I'll, see it's been loved. Read it. Yeah, yeah. Read it. But you ready? Yeah, go on. Nine six, mate. The upgrade. I can't ever upgrade that to a nine eight either. Do you know what I mean? I, could, I wouldn't bother, mate, because it's it. yours. Yeah, yeah. It's it's yours. You bought it. Is That's it going up on the shelf? Um, or a bit later. A bit later. I'll do. It. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour over it. <laughs> pour over it. <laughs> Take it down and, and be like all weepy, weepy, misty eyed over it. Yes, first ultimate title. There's not. <laughs> that's why it isn't worth more that, with this book because it is literally just like all no. the characters and you know. The ultimates were never such a strange, such a strange one. But yeah, first, first ultimate comic in the, the line. I've got a little bit of a production line going on here. No, mate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, oh, see, these are going to probably be disappointing now. So this is the second printing of Raphael number one. It's a micro. Series, I think that they did a very old book, eighty-seven, but it was the second wraparound cover. Yeah, very, wraparound very nice. cover again, really nice. Um, it is I, I, I don't know if it was a one shot or what if this was, but yeah, it was part of the turtles lot that I had. Um, this one is quite a rare book from what I know. It's an eight-page story about Casey Jones in there as well. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, but like that one, I, again, because they're all over the place. This one's a rarer one. Uh, I don't think it was in as good condition as some of them. So I'm going to go, oh, God, at seven and a half. Oh, cool. So, eight so a half. whole full grade above. Yeah. The, this one, I, again, cleaned and pressed. But, again, it's got the similar kind of wear because it's obviously been read by the previous one. The, the spine's quite worn and the, the corners are quite dinked as well. There's a little bit of wear on the spine couple of little ticks. Eight five, I'm all right with that. Off white to white as well. Cool. Nice. Nice. I'll try and get these out without seeing any more. Yeah, I'll just whack that down in there. Wanna... Oh that was awesome. So I get out this is I've seen the back cover. So this is uh oh, this was the lowest number numbered one that I had. This is uh, issue six again. I love the first time. print all Kevin Eastman original artwork as well. Very very nice. Um and very nice. Very nice. Uh, I don't think there's a key with this one, but I'm not too sure. Again, anything probably what was the last one? Eight point five. Yeah. So anything eight or above with these, I think I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with. Yeah, eight point five. So this is number six, lowest one. Oh, oh what the f nice. See, it isn't a key or anything like that, but that, that was the lowest one out of the... So That's nine, wicked, four, mate. Shit. See, out of all of them, because that isn't a key, but it was the highest what It was the lowest number and the highest score. I'll probably keep that for a while. I like how they've put white pages, but then if you look at the sides, it looks, it looks a bit yellow. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was the print. I think it was because it was like not news newsprint. So mm. it, was, it was never... They were never white. Nah, true. Yeah, they were printed on news. A lot yeah. of the new, the earlier ones were. They printed them as cheap as they could. Yeah, and that they, the, the, I'm sure that was one of the one of those oh, mate. types of ones. Well, looks like it's got another Valentine five here. Yeah. Oh, the Funko Pop uh, the one. Funko Pop one. Now, you, these are. I, I don't know. I don't know whether these are ever going to appreciate or anything like that. But um, I like these. It's a. It's a. I've got one of these. It's now. a cover homage as well. I think to uh, obviously an ASM. Yeah. Um, I do like it. I do. I really do like it. Uh, but I've got a couple of these again that uh, have extra ones to get graded. But based on Greg Horn, as long as it's not lower than a uh, nine six, I'll be happy. Ready? Nine six. So nine six. I, oh, it's a shame. At least I've got one nine eight of them. But Did yeah. you just only send three. Uh, of the Venoms, I think. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Nice though. Yeah, so yeah, Funko Pop variant cover, Amazing Spider Man 316 cover homage. Yeah, so very cool. Well, yeah, 9 6. Again, I've got I've got those spare. I would like a 9 8 for my, for my PC, but I might send off a couple of the others and then if I get a 9 8, I'll, I'll sell that one unless somebody's desperate for it at the moment. I'm doing quite well here getting them out without seeing okay. 
Oh, oh no. I, thought I might as well carry on. So, uh, again, this is the same as the Raphael. I think this is a first print of the Leonardo one, though. Um, uh, yeah, one, a one-shot micro series, as it says on there. Again, a wraparound job. Yeah, another wraparound job. Uh, again, I've got to say, I, I, I'm just sticking with the anything over a seven and a half I'm going to be happy with. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nine. Oh, right, nice. So that's a lot higher. Than, um, I mean, nine, eh? I can't specifically remember each of these. But they, they all had similar... Like oh. wear issues and stuff. Like, if there's only one left. See on the corners, is there? Yeah. Oh, which one? Is this yours? It's New Mutants, yeah. Oh, right, okay. It's got to be. Unless they haven't sent it back. Oh, shit. Oh, there should be another one, shouldn't there? Oh. Is there any one? Is there only one? There's only one. Oh, fuck. Oh, um, that's mine. So there's one that they have. We, there's one that we need to get of yours. Where the fuck's that from? Which one? She Hulk. No, we've done. Oh, we've done. Sorry, mate. I've, I was like, <laughs> I've had, I've had, I've had temper. Oh. This is a big book. Man. This is a. Big... Do you want me to hold it? Do you know the other so thing? I don't is... want you to throw it anyway. <laughs> don't want you to throw it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, How God. long have you had this one, Tom? Um, I got this one from a friend of mine probably four or five years ago at a nice comic con because Deadpool's one of my favorites. But yes, yeah, so, but he had it from the day it was released. So thank you, Sid, for selling me this. Um, oh god, I yeah. really hope it's higher than a nine. You can see, uh, I'm already, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously doing that. All right, do you want to just know? Do you just, yeah, know? get me, get over with, rip it off, mate. Oh, okay, cool. So, so it's exactly what I thought it would be. Um, I can. I'm happy with a nine on that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't I'd, get a big funky label. Yeah, I'd say that's probably affected it, maybe. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, I didn't get me funky Deadpool label. Oh shit! I'll have to check with him. But yeah, no, 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 no. Right, oh. First appearance of Deadpool, Gideon. And Copycat, Domino. Yeah. Hmm? There Happy you go. with that. Nine is fine. Nine is fine. Is that a new... Yeah. I've not heard anybody else say that. Nine is fine. A nine is fine. But there you go, guys. That is it. It's took, I know it's took us ages. Um, but uh, as I say, he's a first for us. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking with us for the whole 25 books. Thanks for sticking with us. Um, obviously, uh, we are going to be doing more uh, unboxings uh, when we get more back. We haven't got any out at the moment because we wanted to see what these were first, get a bit, bit of a better understanding of it. Probably send a couple more out at some point. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll, hopefully you enjoyed that. Mixed bag. I will say, yeah. mixed bag. My two big ones that I really wanted, 9.8s, came back lower than I thought. Lower but than I thought. do you know what? The only one of those two that I'm going to potentially ship on is the She-Hulk. Yeah. Um, the New Mutants is mine. I don't want to keep it. So, yeah. Happy days. Well, there you go, guys. Do make sure you subscribe. Do give us that thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought about the grades and stuff. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. And yeah, massive thanks for sticking around. It means a hell of a lot for us that uh, you stuck around this long and you've become part of the NQM family. So please do subscribe and follow us on all the social media platforms. Mm. And uh, yeah, read loads of comics, guys. See ya!